Steven with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you the five main heating components of a Samsung dryer and how to test each one. Let's get started. The heating components can be found on two assemblies within the dryer. The heater assembly, which produces the heat, and the motor blower assembly, which blows the heated air through the dryer. The heating assembly contains the heating element, high limit thermostat, and high limit thermal fuse. The heating element is the coil wire located inside of the heater assembly. The element uses electrical resistance to produce heat in the dryer. The high limit thermostat cuts off power to the heating element when it reaches a maximum temperature. The high limit thermal fuse will kill power to the heating element if the heating element shorts out or if the high limit thermostat fails to regulate the element's max temp. The motor blower assembly contains the thermistor and high limit thermal fuse. The thermistor on the blower housing reads the air temperature blowing through the dryer and sends the temperature reading back to the main control board. The thermal fuse on the blower housing will cut off power to the heating element if the air temperature inside the dryer gets too hot. Several things may happen if any of these parts fail. Your dryer may not produce any heat. You may see an error code on your control panel that starts with either a T or H, or your dryer may produce heat when it's not supposed to. The two thermal fuses and high limit thermostat can be tested using a continuity test. To test, turn a multimeter to the continuity setting and place the probes on each of the component's terminals. You should hear a beep when testing each component. If you do not hear a beep, that means the fuse or thermostat is bad and needs to be replaced. Please note, this does not test the thermostat's high limit opening temperature. And if either of the fuses are blown, they cannot be manually reset. So they will need to be replaced. Before replacing a fuse, you will want to determine what caused the dryer to overheat. Some common things that can cause the dryer to overheat can be clogged exhaust venting, a shorted heating element, or bad main control board. Next, we will use a few different tests to check for a bad heating element. First, use a continuity test to make sure the heating element isn't burnt out or broken. You should hear a beep when placing the probes on each of the heating element's terminals. Now, test to see if the heating element is shorted out by placing one probe on the heater's metal casing and the other probe on each of the heating element's terminals. If you hear a beep, this means the element is shorted out and needs to be replaced. Next, test the heating element for the correct resistance by setting the multimeter to the ohm setting. If you're using a manual ranging multimeter, set it to the lowest ohm setting. Touch the probes to each of the heating element's terminals and you should get an approximate reading of 8 to 10 ohms. If the reading doesn't register or is outside of 8 to 10 ohms, you may have a bad heating element. Now, we will check for a bad thermistor using an ohms test. Unlike other sensors and fuses on this dryer, you cannot use a continuity test to check to see if the thermistor is working. When testing with the multimeter, the resistance value of the thermistor varies depending on its temperature. Reference this chart showing the resistance values at different temperatures. All thermistors have different resistance scales, so this chart only applies to the part number we're testing in this video. To test, turn the multimeter to the ohm setting. If you're using a manual ranging multimeter, set it to the 20K or 40K ohm setting. Then, touch the probes to each of the terminals at room temperature, the thermistor should have a resistance just over 10K ohms. If you find you have any bad parts and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your dryer to make sure you get the correct part. If you need full instructions on how to remove and replace any of these parts, you can find the video's length in the description below. So that's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things, please consider subscribing.